In a 1960 essay, the cybernetics pioneer Norbert Wiener considered the potentially dangerous implications of building powerful, intelligent machines. He noted that once we start building machines that are difficult to interfere with, then we had better be quite sure that the purpose put into the machine is the purpose we really desire, and not merely a colourful imitation of it. This observation underpins a challenge that has come to be known as the alignment problem. In this short video, we'll walk through the writing of Jan Leiker, who has provided a particularly lucid explanation of the topic on Substack that covers what the alignment problem is, how it manifests today, and finally, the so-called hard problem of alignment. Let's start with some terminology. In order to construct a performant AI system that will effectively achieve some intended task, we need two things. First, capability. We'll say that the AI system is capable if it could do the intended task. Second, alignment. We'll say that the AI system is aligned if it does the intended task as well as it can. With this decomposition, we can see that when an AI system doesn't achieve an intended task, it's because of either a failure of capability, it wasn't capable of doing the task, or a failure of alignment, it didn't do the intended task as well as it could, or some mixture of failures of both capability and alignment. As hinted at by Norbert Wiener more than 60 years ago, we are particularly interested in achieving AI system alignment with human intentions. In such settings, the intended task is simply what the human wanted the system to do. It's reasonable to say that many of the problems AI systems have had to date have been capability problems. They have simply lacked the capability to perform the intended task. To give some concrete examples of capability problems, as a human, you cannot jump 10 metres into the air from the surface of planet Earth without help. You also cannot perform arithmetic in one nanosecond. Your biology simply doesn't allow you to perform tasks on this timescale. A misaligned system can be thought of as one that doesn't play on your team. It could be playing directly against you, but it need not be. Often, it is simply a system that is playing a different game. For example, when someone jumps in front of you in a queue, when you have to watch an advert before you can watch the video you wanted to watch, or when a company sends you unsolicited promotions you don't want. You can see that these are not capability problems. In each case, the person or system could have achieved what you'd wanted them to do, but they chose not to. Now we have defined our terminology. How can we distinguish a capability problem from an alignment problem? It is, unfortunately, very difficult. To demonstrate misalignment, we need to show that the system in question could have achieved the intended task. That's often very hard to do in practice. Consider an interaction between a customer and a customer service agent. In the course of a discussion, the customer might ask a question like, can I get the same product elsewhere? The agent replies, I can't answer that. Is this a capability problem where the service agent simply doesn't know the answer? Or is it an alignment problem in which they do know the answer, but they were instructed not to answer by their employer? From the customer's perspective, without significant detective work of questionable legality, it's going to be hard to tell which of the two it is. So far, the clearest examples of misalignment problems that we've seen in today's AI systems arise in large language models, which often fail to act in a way that matches our intentions. These intentions can be categorised as explicit intentions and implicit intentions. Explicit intentions can be communicated to the model via natural language instructions. Examples include instructions like translate this passage into French and summarise this text in two sentences. Implicit intentions are those that are not stated explicitly and are often difficult to enumerate. Examples here include don't lie, don't use toxic language and don't give harmful advice. One approach to tackling alignment in current systems has been to fine-tune them on curated data that communicates the desired behaviour, such as in Instruct GPT. Studying the problem on current systems provides a useful testing ground, because if we can't align current AI systems, it tells us that our alignment methods are seriously flawed. One practical challenge we face is that current AI systems raise problems that are quite different to those raised by future AI systems that are smarter than us. For now, humans are still able to evaluate AI system performance. The hard problem of alignment asks the question, 
How do we align systems on tasks that are difficult for humans to evaluate? This is important to think about because further AI progress will allow the use of AI systems on increasingly difficult tasks. This will in turn make it more difficult for humans to assess whether AI behavior is in accordance with human intent. This means we won't be able to use current techniques like reinforcement learning with human feedback, which require humans to be capable of providing feedback on tasks. In addition to being more difficult, the hard problem is also where the stakes are highest. There will likely be tremendous economic pressure to use AI systems that can do hard tasks better than humans once AI systems become sufficiently capable. At that point, if the alignment problem is not solved, these systems will not do the tasks as humans intend. It doesn't take a great deal of thought to see that this will have unpredictable, unintended consequences. In the video description, you can find links to Jan's original post, slides, and references. I hope you have a wonderful day.